In this video, I am going to explain a little bit about how we've been using ChatGPT to build website structures and create topical authority maps for clients that come to us asking for a new website. But I also want to use this video to demonstrate the differences between GPT 3.5 and GPT 4. So if we dive straight into ChatGPT, you can see here that I've got a ChatGPT window open and uh, it is a pro account so I can use GPT 3 and GPT 4. Let's start with ChatGPT 3.5 to make things simple. So the first thing I'm going to do is ask it to create an SEO website structure for a lead generation website for ABC builders who specialize I mean like ABC builders who specialize in house extensions and loft conversions for their clients in South Yorkshire and we hit go. So in GPT-3 as you can see you get a very quick and a very quick output but actually it's very top level it doesn't have a lot of contextual information around it it certainly hasn't really put a lot of thought into it it's very much a number crunching type uh, type of affair. So if I start a new chat and select GPT-4, and I will ask it exactly the same prompt. There we are. Uh, now, for starters, you can see that it's taking a little bit more time to create the sitemap. It's also gone and found some context for the sitemap. It's putting things like... Um, uh, like keywords and some extra structural information uh, for the website in the output as it goes through. You can see it's systematically working through. You can almost see it working in the background as it's going. Um, in the previous chat, uh, you can, um, I can't flick to it at the minute, but in the previous chat, it, you know, it just said services including house extensions and loft conversions, whereas this time the sitemap actually includes a section for house extensions and a section for loft conversions, including FAQs and CTAs and all of those kind of good things. Um, service areas, it's even listed out local service areas rather than just saying service areas. Uh, and then blog and so on and so forth. So now the reason that this is important is, I don't know what it's like in your agency, but in mine, one of the most frequently asked questions I get is, how much does a website cost? And the reality is that it could be, it's as long as a piece of string. It could be, uh, you know, really simple and straightforward. It could be very uh, complicated. It depends on what you're trying to achieve, how you're trying to achieve it, what you want your customers to do online. Um, what this process does is outline the basics. And we know that because of the way GPT works, a chat GPT works to process its data, it is giving us a, an answer that is based on websites that are already out there. So rather than us just creating something because we think it's a good idea, what chat GPT is doing is comparing what's out there and giving us a structure that we know is going to need a bit of work, but is based on the competition that's that's already ranking uh, in the search engines. Right, so the next thing I want to do is for it to um, give me uh, 10 semantic keywords for loft conversions in South Yorkshire. So now, now I've gone and got the the website structure, I want to know what surrounding content I'm going to need. And I need to know what the topics are that are going to be, uh, I'm going to have to get into the website on top of that structure. That structure is very much from a user perspective type of uh, approach. This, on the other hand, is now going to look at um, what the, the content is going to have to be. A lot of this stuff, I'll be honest with you, is going to go in the blog, but some of it isn't. <laughs> so, uh, you know, we might come up with some gems that we need to get in somewhere else. So South Yorkshire loft conversion specialist, attic conversions in South Yorkshire. See, so it's picked up attic, bespoke loft transformations, etc., etc. Right. So now I can take each one of these and say, um, please provide the And what I can do is take each one of these these uh, top semantic terms that it gave me at the top and run each of these through uh, looking for related key terms. Now, what this is going to do as this works is 
it ultimately will give me a topical authority map of all of the content that is going to need to be created for this website in order for it to rank sufficiently in the search engines. That really gives me two things as an agency owner. The first is it gives me a full understanding that I can give to the client of, okay, if we're going to take this project on for you, this is the kind of work that we're going to have to undertake. But in order for this to really make a difference to your business, this is the kind of work that you're going to have to undertake in order to get this website to actually rank and start driving leads to you. The second thing it does to me as an agency owner is give me the opportunity to go back to the client and say, look, in reality, you, there's 300 blog articles that need writing here, and they're not all going to get written at once. We can't write them all at once. You certainly can't write them all at once. But if we can put a package together where we can support you with some of this content creation, we can look at some of the on-page SEO factors, we can do some internal link building for you, and we can use other AI tools or more functions in ChatGPT as well in order to help with your SEO strategy, then we can actually get this new website live and get it ranking for you as quickly as we possibly can. So hopefully this video has demonstrated two things. One, how the differences between chat GPT 3.5 and GPT 4.0, and why 4.0 really is worth the 20 bucks investment each month in order to, uh, you know, to, to get all of this better processing power for you. But secondly, how a tool like this can be used, maybe not as a finished article for your, uh, your output for your client, but how it can be used to very quickly assess the structure of a web project and the minimum structure of a web project and the uh, semantic keywords and topical authority map that needs to be created in order to get that website to rank meaningfully in the search engines. Before I go, if you have enjoyed this video and you found it valuable, got any value out of it whatsoever, I would really appreciate it if you would give it a like. But also, please feel free to subscribe to this channel and uh, hit the little notification icon as well so that as I generate more content, more SEO tips, more tips about running a digital agency and how you can build streams of revenue into your business, you will get notified as that content is created. I hope to see you in the next video.